I mean, he oh, looks Scott a bit Parker confused. looks like a sandbag, quite frankly. And Portugal comes in to recover. Oh, my Lord, I'm worried for Scott Parker. But I'm more worried for... Oh! Portugal is in there with one angry man. And Alex is signalling to the near seven-foot German of Herman. And Herman is in this match. It looks as though Paul Travell has a petrified look on his face. And if I was Paul Travell, Nick, I sure as hell would do. Paul Travell's looking around, he's thinking, what can I do? What can I do against this seven-foot German? My Lord, Tony, remember these two have some true animosity between each other. After all, do you remember when Paul Travell smashed that chair of Ulf Herman's head? Ulf Herman's head split open like a grapefruit. And it was that chair shot that allowed the family to become the tag team champions of the FWA. I, I don't know what Paul Travell's doing here, but I wouldn't play games with Ulf Herman. That's exactly what I wouldn't do, Nick. It looks as though Paul Travell was trying to play the Roman knuckle game with Ulf Herman. You only have to look at his size, though, but Paul Travell with a couple of kicks, a few kicks in there, and he's punching away, and he's punching away. And, and I think Paul's on a lost cause here, because the German isn't even moving. Off the ropes, ducks the clothesline, off the way. Paul Travell flips out. So Paul Travell, now, oh, the big boost, square in the nose. <laughs> it looked like he took, he took his face off. Paul Travell went one way, sent off the ropes, and then threw out to the outside, Paul Travell, much like his teammate Scott Parler, Parker, sorry, looks dazed and confused. It could be the Messiah on his own now, on his own now against this phenomenal threesome of Alex Shane, Ulf Herman and Nikita. And now Ulf Herman is gonna pick the carcass dry of Paul Travell. You know, Nick, the way I'm seeing it right now is all the family glad they took this match on with these three people. Because at the moment, Ulf Herman, Alex Shane and Nikita have been in control and Ulf Herman. Oh! And down with an awesome choke slam. You see Paul Travell arching his back. He's in a whole world of hurt right now as Ulf Herman is just picking him apart. That was a ride that Paul did not want to go for. And now Paul Travell, he's been set up with a reverse power bomb. Travell is, I was going to say out, but I think dead would be a more appropriate term. It looks as though Ulf Herman should, well, if it was me, Ulf Herman should go in for the cover here and put the family away nice and early. Let's see if Ulf, uh, well Ulf obviously isn't smart enough to do that. He's picking up Paul Travell, and Paul Travell with almost like a football-like kick to the golden balls of Ulf Herman, and now a snap man, and Ulf Herman is down. Nick, you saw it there, the other members of the family distracting referee Andrew Coyne, and Paul Travell managed to get the boot in there as he goes with a nice second rope moonsault onto Ulf Herman. Give it a come on, two, and... No, too soon, Tony. It too was too soon. It's going to take a lot more than that to put Ulf Herman away as the Messiah is tagged back into the match. It looks as though the family are going to have to use dirty tactics on the team of Ulf Herman, Alex Shane and Akita. A nice suplex there from both members of the family taking Ulf Herman down. The righteous one, Paul Travell and the Messiah, Brandon Thomas, managed to power over Ulf Herman with that double super. Referee Andrew Coyne just got logged into the right and Messiah's been set up. Alex Shane now with a Shane station. Alex Shane up and over with the Shane station. It's not often you see the show stealer do a few moves in every match and each one has been devastating. Oh. Much like that suicide dive over the top rope from Paul Travell. You know, say what I like about the family. I can't take away from the fact that they're awesome wrestlers. Nikita up and down and Nikita from the top rope down as well. Nikita picked a spot beautifully and everyone is waiting. Oh. Scott, oh. Scott Parker with a gold rush as well. Nick Pandemonium is striking all over. on there from the side. Everyone has jumped over, over the top, over the ropes. Everyone is on the outside. All Farman and the referee are the only men standing at the moment. The family are down. Some of the team members of Alex Shane's team are down as well. Everyone getting slowly up to their feet at the moment as Alex Shane is leading the Messiah somewhere. Oh, and face first into the guardrail. Alex Shane has one thing on his mind and it's the destruction of the Messiah. Alex Shane looks to please his fans and what a way to please them by smashing his opponent's face in front of them. And now, Ulf Herman has lobbed Scott Parker into the ring. Scott 
Parker, he's dazed, he's confused, probably suffering from that series of suicide dives from the outside, but Scott is fighting back, but the German is not moving, Tony. The German is just standing there shaking his head, as Scott Parker trying to bend the tray back into place, he's thinking one more, oh, Scott Parker got a vicious kick there, and Scott, oh, Scott Parker got hit over the head with the bacon tray, he tried to level up Herman with, it was a bacon tray, it was a frying pan, it's going to take more than that to knock out Old Furman. As we see Paul Travell moving up the guard round here with Nikita. This doesn't look good for Nikita at the moment. But as we see once again Old Furman in the ring, he's putting a, he's putting a builder's helmet on Scott Parker. Nick. Well, maybe he cares for his welfare. I'm not really sure what's going through Old's head quite frankly. He's got a big stick. Oh, that was a big stick broken into. And Alex Shane manages to body slam the Messiah onto a hard wooden floor and Nick believe me that wooden floor is very solid. We see all Herman dancing around the ring and the truth does not look happy. Oh Shane setting up a power driver but Brandon he's just powered him over. Alex Shane is out on the outside. I gotta tell you though Tony I'm glad that Ulf Herman did put that hard hat on Scott because oh another shot to the side of Scott Parker. I'm glad he used that hard hat because I wouldn't want Ulf to be arrested for manslaughter here tonight. He's a very promising future for the FWA. Oh. And now Alex Shane on the outside. He's taken to Brennan Masson. What Nick, is he doing, Tony? Nick, that's a toilet seat. I don't know what all Furman's got in mind, but you can bet your life it's not good for Scott Park. As Alex, Sh Alex Shane's got a staple gun, Nick. I've never seen this in the FW. Oh! I've never seen the staple gun and I've never seen anyone take a toilet seat to the crutch before. Scott Parker is screaming in agony as Ulf Herman is walking around the ring. Only exploding toilet seats, Tony. Scott Parker is out with a toilet seat to the genitalia area. And now Alex Shane is bringing Brandon Thomas to the... And he's brought the staple gun with him. Alex Shane has brought a new friend with him into the F that bit. Brandon Thomas looks as though he's maybe trying for a way out. He's holding on to the ring post. Alex Shane has the staple gun. He has a poster. And he's stuck into the turnbuckle, Nick. This cannot be good for the Messiah. Surely that's put a placement. That has to be illegal. Oh, no. Alex, don't. He's stepped away. No. What's he doing? He's, Nick, he's doing the right thing. He's doing the right thing by Brandon Thomas. Oh, no, no, no. I know Alex Shane. He's a devious son. He's what? Oh, Nick! Nick, he just used the staple gun in the nether regions of the Messiah. Nick, I can't believe it. He's got the staple gun once again. This is not over between Alex Shane and the family. It seems to me that the family won't be hearing the patter of little feet from Brandon Thomas anytime soon. Alex Shane has got the staple gun, Nick, and... Oh, he just drove a staple into the Messiah's head. The Messiah has to be busted open from there. Nick, he's using a staple gun. The thing we put posters up around town, he's using it on the Messiah as a weapon. The Messiah has been stapled well and good. I hope I wasn't in the eye. I'm very scared of Brandon Thomas. Staple guns are not a laughing matter. Oh, Nick, up and over, out onto the mat on the outside. Three times the Messiah was stapled in the head. It's not going to bode well for the Messiah's brain power as Alex Shane is leading him through the crowd. I have no idea what is on Alex Shane's mind. All I can think of is blood revenge. Three staples in the head and one in the um, unmentionables. As we see Greg Lambert arguing with referee Andrew Quinn. I don't know why he's arguing. This is a no holds barred match. And as we see, Nick is in Disciple and Ash, formerly the new breed, now taking Nick. It's outnumbering the team of Alex Shane and Ulf Herman once again. It was five in the beginning and oh, it's Tony, five now. Tony, what? That's Nikita! Nikita's on the balcony, Tony! Nick, Nick, she's on the balcony. Nick. If you'd like to purchase any of the DVDs featured in this show, go to www.fwauk.com. This is the resistance and we need your help.